Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Perpetual Testing. Today we are going to be having a go at the beautiful retro neon stylings of Pressure Cube. And this was made and recommended by Jamerica, so a very, very big thank you to Jamerica. And I think I say this every time, but uh, I am a big fan of this sort of sterile, neon, sci-fi, Tron-esque, everything's neon and beautiful kind of styling that Jamerica uses in his maps. I don't know why, I just really, really kind of like this style. Uh, we are immediately greeted with a whole lot of things splashing in front of us, including even more blue gel being chucked away at the back there. Uh, we have come to like an island here. There's no immediate way to get across. We have an X being presented to us just past the probably not your usual deadly deadly goo, but probably very, very deadly nonetheless crystal clear sparkling insta drowning water. Uh, we want to get across there. Obviously, there's no panels here to jump across with, though. We do have this X here, which would suggest something. There is a cube in a cage-like construction there sitting on a button. And we've also got a laser receptacle here. There is a laser receptacle on this wall that is connected to a panel up there. And we do have a laser that is being blocked by that cube. Uh, well, that panel probably lines up well enough that we can grab some blue gel to get that cube to start doing that. Yes, I like this new weapon. Okay. We have been, uh, for some reason, visited by the disembodied voice of Team Fortress's The Heavy. I don't know why. Um, let's just go with it, shall we? Uh, yeah, yes, so that has done that. That has, however, flipped that panel round. But it has presented us with a nice little bridge to cross over. We now have this cube doing, uh, well, what cubes do when you trap them covered in gel. That will do that until we work out a way to deal with it. Probably with the water that we had dropping a moment ago. Now actually turned off because that cube isn't on that button anymore. Okay, so there's that. You are no longer available. We do have the blue gel and the laser. We can jump up here where we have another button. This button... This button, oh, this button lowers a piston down to crush that cube onto the button. No, it stops there, making the cube go even more psycho, even more quickly. Okay, uh, for some reason we can do that. We do have the water again, though. But we don't have enough time with that button being pressed to activate that. So we can't wash that cube off immediately here. And that goes straight back up as soon as we get off. We've got another button here with this lovely... I really like the way this style does these ant lines. Uh, we press U. What do you do? You start a cube dropping, getting covered in gel, bouncing, and just being wasted in the icy, icy water. You're just going to keep doing that until we work out what you're for. Uh, I've also just noticed we have purple fizzlers. Purple fizzlers, which I cannot remember what purple fizzlers do. And that handy little uh, legend of fizzlers that I was sent is actually nowhere near me once again so we'll have to try and work that out in a minute uh we've got our exit over there which has also got a purple fizzler but is that a different purple fizzler might just be the perspective we're looking at there's a purple fizzler up there closed in cage kind of thing there uh we've got a panel up there do you think we're supposed to get a cube into that little cage apparatus type thing there and then, what, lower it into the water somehow? Did that go down with you? No, you do have up and down indicators, but that apparently is just to indicate the up and down of that. Okay, so does that move, or is that on a piston for aesthetic reasons? Um, we can probably drop a cube in there, which it feels like the game very much wants us to do right now. Uh, to do that, we can stand on you and get the water going again. Yeah, I, I am on you, yes? I, I'm on you? Okay, there we go. We got the water dropping again. Uh, okay, okay, so I get it. That holds that down just low enough to keep that going just enough to have the water dropping over and over. So if we put orange on you, does that line up with this panel here? It does, and that drops a cube in there. So what do we do with a cube that we've now got dropped in there? Is there any way for me to get to that cube? You're not a panel I can do anything with, are you? No. Uh, is there somewhere... 
could I fly out of there, bounce air strafe into there? And then would I be able to see over there to get out again? It's worth a try. Uh, maybe if we bounce here, we'll have enough height to do that. So we've got orange up on you. Let's get a good bounce going. I've got a feeling this is going to be very, very bad. Let's try it anyway. Actually, not under there. I want, I want more mess. I want you to put more blue gel, like, over here. So that I can make use of that and then move that. Give me a splat there. Yeah, that's better. Uh, let's bounce up back up here a sec. Let's put a blue on you. Is that now washed? There's no way to stop that odd angled gel tube, is there? At least not that I can see at the moment. So let's uh, try bouncing, see if we can bounce out of that and air strafe into the box with the cube. So get a good bounce going. Something tells me that this is going to be highly detrimental to my health, but hey, let's try it anyway. Yeah, that, that's no use whatsoever. Okay, so right back to the start, but we know this part. This part involves getting that cube to start going haywire by chucking some gel at it. That should go in there, yes, that flies around there. I like this new weapon. Be no heavy, you've said that before. Don't know why that's there. Oh, well, this map also includes background music, but I've uh, I've had to mute it because it's by Nine Inch Nails and something tells me YouTube will not let me get away with that. So you keep doing that thing in there. We want to go up here. Yeah, we want to go up here if we bounce at a better place than that. Right, uh, we can bring you down. So I'm guessing we still want to get a cube in there for some reason. To catch the cube in there. Uh, just noticed some panels fell off the back there that I didn't see before. Nice little detail. Uh, what do we want a cube in there for? I don't think I can get in there. Nothing... Well, we could go have a look over there and see if there's anything else to work with for a start. Over here is our exit, which is square and purple. Wait, is that sensor cube? Does that mean that one senses a cube? Is that a cube sensing fizzler? That's not the normal cube sensing fizzler, is it? Looks a different shade of purple. Although it's been a good few weeks since I played a map with a cube sensing fizzler, so yeah, it could be. Uh, we've also got a hole in the wall there for some reason, and we're going to need a way to get up here, which is probably doable with some bouncy blue gel, which I cannot see from this angle. So let's pop back over to this side. Uh, let's get some blue gel on the floor over there. Which, yep, that's put a bunch there. That is probably enough to get up to here. Where we have signage indicating to clean one's cube. So we want water over here as well, because that's how you clean a cube. Uh, can I do anything with that? I can't shoot through the glass. Can I get an angle? Do you do anything other than, like... No, you don't let portals through as far as I can tell. And square. What was square? Was that back there? There's some signage I failed to acknowledge. Don't go in the goo again. We don't want to go in the goo again. Right, back over here. Where's this signage that I didn't look at before? It is. Oh, yeah, okay. That was intentional test of the laser. It does, in fact, burn. Flesh test confirmed. Right, so square and exit, which is square and exit over there and whatever that is doing. Does that sense a cube or does it... Is there a button behind it? I don't know what to do with that. Um, that noise is driving me slightly nuts. Uh, let's try getting this cube again. So how can we get this cube? You're not a panel I can do anything with. All I can do is get some water on you out of that one there and drop a cube onto you, right? If I remember to press the button, that is. So you drop that cube in there. What do you drop a cube in there for? And did something happen when you went through the thing there? I mean, you don't let portals through. I can see you bouncing off of that there. So that's not that kind of fizzler that lets a portal through. So how do I get in there then? I mean, that's nowhere near lined up enough for me to... It could be. Right? But we, we experimented with that and it was bad. That experiment did not go anywhere near where we wanted to. Uh, is there any other panels I'm missing? Can't see how to get that cube at the moment. 
If you're clean, are you for a split second clean and port allable? Uh, which means I need that one again, which it should do. Wash that off, is it? No, it's just a regular panel, right? I should be able to put a portal on it, even if it was covered in the blue gel. So, not that. How do we get that cube? Can I intercept it somehow? And what is this cube catching apparatus for? Why does one want to catch a cube? Are you... I would not have thought that was port allable. Is that just shadow? Okay, well, we know how to get a cube out of there now, but I I would have never actually thought that was port allable, like looking at it. But apparently it is, so let's uh, get another cube in there. We do that with you and uh, you. That should be lined up enough, right? Wash that off for me. Put a blob there. Is that timed anywhere near usefully? That is not timed anywhere near usefully. That is infuriating as hell. Let's press you again and see if the timing changes a bit. Yeah, okay, so you drop in there. Uh, let's get that cube. Where do we want that cube? I'm guessing we've got to bounce a cube up into there. But why do we want to wash our cube first? Uh, we can put the cube over there, right? If we put a blue there and an orange under you there. I, I said an orange under you there. That has gone over there, so now I can just drop over that side easy enough. Wait, right, uh, why do we want to wash a cube? Like, you're telling me to wash a cube and put it in here, yes? Why would I want to do that? You've got a clean cube. Do I want to get the water in here and clean it later? Or bounce the cube up into there? Also, we've got to get you activated. So how do I get you activated? Uh, to get you activated, we're going to have to wash that cube off, right? To get that to stop bouncing around all over the place. Um, let's take you back over to this. No, not in there, actually. We don't want to go in there. We want to go back to everything else. Can I get back to everything else from here now? Wait, that is just back to everything else, right? Yeah, that's the right. To everything else. For some reason, I was thinking that would go... And now I can't put you down. Crap. Okay, um... I need a new cube again, so you can just fuck right off. Uh, let's stand on that, let's put that, let's put uh, that, so we get the cube to drop down into the cube catching apparatus. Yeah, okay, that bounced. Uh, is this badly timed again? No, that one went in, right. Let's grab you and bring you this side this time. Is that of any use? Shell going in and out of there. Don't think so, but maybe. We can at least get that if we need it. Let's do you. Let's grab this cube. Where's that? Yeah, the, yeah okay. Disorientating, I know. I, I just want the cube. Thank you. Take the cube through into the side. Yeah, I know. God, it wouldn't be one of these videos if I didn't do that at least once. So we've got a clean cube. Let's uh, take it up here. Let's put you on this button. Hold that down. Which makes this start going nuts again. But it doesn't give us a way to clean that cube to stop it doing that. Oh, the laser goes through, right? So we could block it with this one. So let's block uh, the laser with this cube this side. Which should keep that panel round even with that going nuts. Let's bounce back up into here. Let's get that pushed down so that we get water again with you and you. That should clean that cube. That has cleaned that cube. So what does that do now? That has given us the square and the exit. Which is that and that over there. So does that mean then that we should take a bouncy blue cube, stick it in that box. And it either presses a button in there or that actually is a button itself and senses the cube. Either way, it's the only thing I can think of trying at the moment. So let's go get this cube. I assume you can do that now without any worries. Everything still seems to be functioning properly. Let's take you back up here. Actually, I need you covered in gel, don't I? So let's put a portal over there. Let's grab our cube. 
Let's put it down gently a second whilst I think for a sec. Let's put orange. I don't want to wash anything away. Let's just put orange like over there. Let's jump down. Let's get you covered in the bouncy blue stuff. Head into here. Bounce up onto you. Stick you in here and... What happens? Oh, okay. So that does in fact sense a cube. That is a cube sensing purple fizzler. I didn't think they... I thought they were green. Or is that the one that senses high energy pellets? You know what? There are too many fizzlers for me to be able to remember. Uh, that does actually appear to be our exit though, doesn't it? Door going to close behind me? I can go back in, can I? Hmm, it's not normal that you can go back in. I guess you can play around more if you want to. Uh, that was Pressure Cube by Jamerica Cup. So a very, very big thank you to Jamerica Cup for recommending that one. If you would like to recommend a map for me to try and play, then please recommend it via the usual means. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, today we learned that a cube covered in bouncy blue gel and placed under the pressure of a piston makes a really bloody annoying noise. Oh, and uh, Heavy likes his new gun, apparently. Yeah.